All right, so my fifth principle is going to be money. Dollars, dollars, chachaquacha, CDs, Nara. Now, I just want to teach you about money. I'm not going to teach you how to become rich. I'm going to teach you what money is. And you decide for yourself what you want out of it. Money, I told you from the beginning that I was broke, penniless broke. Hey, I had to look for this girl. But money is also the invincible devil. And this devil is also created by the omnipotent creator. Hmm. What a controversy. So maybe God is a mathematician. Great thing to, for you to find out. Money is the biggest thing that is moving the world and shaping it left, right, center. It's tricking us. It's playing us. It's killing us. It's stopping us. It's doing all sort of things to us. But nobody wants to take their time and look at this girl, money. Everybody is just chasing it. Wow. But I have something to share for you with money. It's a very, 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 very powerful being. <laughs> money has human in it. Money has a spirit in it. Money is powerful. God created it, but it's very powerful. And today I want to share that with you. Because the president is looking for it. The bishop is looking for it. The prostitute is looking for it. The working person is looking for it. Everybody is looking for it. So, who is this money? And I know you're all looking for it too. But I, but I just want to hear, all, is there anybody here not looking for it? Everyone is looking for it. Well, let me break it down for you. M, money. M says, many would die for me. O says, over me, many will die. N says, never will you and I say no to I. Please follow this code and see how powerful money is. And then E is telling you that eternal is my life. Every one of us came to meet it. Every one of us left it. From King Solomon to David, to Kwame Nkrumah and freedom and cheddar, one day is going to leave it. But money is still here. Please, don't you want to get the minute for yourself and ask money some questions and stop chasing money? At least take a minute, take a day and try and find why money? Why did God even create it in the first place? You would understand the value of life if you ask these questions because i'll repeat it again those who know the value of life will find out what the money is worth i'm going to repeat it again for those who know the value of life would understand what the money is worth that's the only thing that controls us okay I don't know which one that we're worshiping, but if they put you in a church for eight hours, you're going to get up and go out and say, this pastor is preaching for too long. You will go out. But you wake up from Monday to Saturday, and you work over 40 hours just to get paid. So I want to know, who do you think people are worshiping? Because are they pretending that they're worshiping God or they're worshiping money? And I want to know. Because I want to know, if you, if you want this money, you need to understand these consequences of life and money. Because that's my fifth principle. And guess what? Money used to be my girlfriend, but now she's not. She's something else for me that I can't tell you about because I elevated I went from money and I elevated to another step what money couldn't buy. 
freedom. And that's my sixth principle.